Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? What's popping? Welcome to the Mocha Little Terror channel. If it's your first time on my channel, hey, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is uh, Tongue tied ass. This is your first time on my channel. Look at our cuts. Make us a little, make us a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. Over them cuts. So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. There's plenty of them. All right? I ain't mad at you. Still love you a long time. For those of you who are um, returning to my channel, hey, family, what y'all? <laughs> yeah. Y'all in this space of, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to jump off the cliff. I mean, <laughs> great space to be. All right. You guys, uh, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. Really dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cry sometimes. You know, we cry together. Cry, cry together. Love, laugh, live, share. You guys, we one big happy family over here and continuously growing. So thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I humbly appreciate it. If you didn't know, go check the community tab because YouTube has been sucking with my damn notifications. But there's a sale going on and it's been real quiet. And you Pisces, you my Pisces people. <laughs> got the what? Because y'all be watching for themselves and it was quiet. I saw I ain't got no damn fish trying to damn flood my house out. It's some stuff going on. Maybe they didn't know. All right, so you guys, welcome to the Mercury retrograde in Cancer. Whew. I don't say no more because I'm working on the shit that I be saying. Okay, you guys, this ain't gonna resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest. Okay, um, that motherfucking shoe don't fit. Don't try and make it fit. Your ass gonna fall. All right, you guys, the energy that I felt when actually shuffling your energy, um, as well as meditating on your energy, is funny because. Uh, for some reason, I heard Aretha Franklin, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, take care of T-C-B, oh, yes, y'all had it going on, like, somebody want their respect, okay, I do feel, Pisces, you are demanding your respect, you're not letting anybody come in your world with less than what it is that you can add, you can bring to the damn table, Pisces is recognizing who is the motherfucker who, Pisces recognize I am the table. <laughs> well, go ahead. All right. Some of you all, I'm also fearing the uh, fearing. Okay. So for some of y'all, you could be fearing having a conversation with someone because I definitely felt the energy of someone, two people really needing to talk, but um, one person has a sense of pride and the other person know that they're dealing with a pride for motherfuckers. So they have this sense of fear around how the conversation would go. And there's, sense of, there's some type of like fear of rejection here, okay, or fear of uh, being turned away, so I definitely feel like someone has that fear, so when put in place of that particular situation, you don't know if you're going to be cool to come out of a bag on a motherfucker, there's a sense of needing to be observative, listen, and watch during this time, way more than you speak, okay, I do feel uh, the energy of you guys actually going through some type of perception shifts around situations with the missing pieces of information that you will be given, okay, during this time, so let's get it. We're going to start off with your intuitive messages for the mid-month of June. Y'all thought I was grown. I'm sorry. I had to pull it up anyway. Y'all thought I was grown. I was cool. My stomach out and stuff. I was like, oh. <laughs> this girl. <laughs> All right. So let's get it. What I got for my Pisces. What I got for you guys was breakthroughs, breaking cycles, observe, backstabber, Forgiveness, who's to blame, surprise, releasing, self-sabotage, secrets exposed, restoration, communication, financial abundance, new love, restoring an old love, lottery, come on now, envy, moon cycles, life path, time is of the essence. Optimistic, creativity, perception, illusions, I'm sorry, no more illusions, blessings, revelations, entrepreneurships. All right, so this is what I got for my Pisces, people. If this resonates, 
guys, this message is for you. Let's talk about it, okay? Overall energy around the reading, the nine of spades, okay? So some of you guys could be in this space of overthinking a situation. It's actually a situation that is at the verge of actually either ending or transforming in your life. You could also be going through your own transformations. And I definitely feel like some of y'all who are dealing with fire energies or fixed energy, Scorpio, uh, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, you could be experiencing some type of turbulence. Some of y'all could be leaving one fixed sign to move to another one. And I feel like if you move too fast, instead of observing the obvious, Observing that I'm here and observing the obvious, you're gonna find that you're running into the same so with the same spirit with a different face. Okay, so some of you guys, it's about reflecting over your past um, cycles when it comes to relationships, friendships. What is it that you allow people to do that later on brings you this sense of anxiety? Change that shit. Okay. First message you guys got comes from Archangel Germia. All is well. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings that you will soon understand. Okay, so some of you guys, if this is about releasing a situation, some of y'all are dealing with blockages of circumstances, situations, jobs, doubt, fear being blockages that is keeping you guys from moving towards abundance. You are what the hell you believe you are. So goddamn if you want if you want to practice living your life going forward with what you're walking pretty much in the path of your future. Act as if you already won the damn lottery and you're going to act accordingly with who the hell you let in your life, okay? Some of you guys could also be receiving some type of um, crown chakra activation. Some of you all, your dreams are very intense during this time. Some of y'all are actually talking to higher powers, archangel, uh, archangel, I heard legion, okay, legions, okay? So some of y'all could actually be connected with a legion of archangels. Others of you, um, there's some of y'all... Some of you guys have a brother figure. This could be a father figure. Some of you guys could have lost a brother. Spirit wants you to know, and this person wants you to know that, that you are spiritually protected. Some of you guys, you kind of coming through this vertex and you're being enlightened with a different, you're being enlightened with new perspectives and new ways of looking at things, which is actually expanding and actually ushering in this new level of consciousness, which you're vibing really high during this time, Pisces. And if you're having disagreements with people, it's simply because you guys aren't vibing the same anymore. Some of you guys are outgrowing your surroundings. Okay. Next message you guys got was Archangel Uriel. You know what you know what to do. You know what to do. Yeah, that's my shit. Oh, oh. Don't want to meet your daddy. <laughs> Just want you in my caddy. Okay, but listen, we're not at the angel message. No, I'm goofy. ADD is fuck. Look, Archangel Uriel. Trust your inner knowledge <laughs> and act upon it without delay, okay? So for some of you all, there are there will be things that will be illuminated. This could have to do with the father figure, the father of your child. This could be your father. There's a level of forgiveness or some type of emotions being illuminated or some type of conversations to be had. For some of you all, this is about trusting yourselves and your own damn instincts. And when you choose to do so, light will be shed. And with some type of illumination that brings you clarity to understand why you need to learn to trust your damn self. Some of y'all, it's shining light on the fact that you don't like to be by yourself some of you all um may be dealing with people who are codependent because in some aspects you guys mirror one another in that aspect i feel like one of you all it has to be with the fear of being alone this could have to do with abandonment issues as a child so i'm also i'm also hearing foster parents so someone could have had foster parents who didn't treat them the best okay so you hold on to relationships where you need to feel validated and spirit is saying you know what to do you already know and it's uncomfortable that burning in your belly that feeling like that somebody's slapping fire from your damn face, it ain't going nowhere. This has been the blockage. Once you actually face the monster on your, under your bed, what is there to fucking fear? You want to know your life path? It's the shit that you're the most afraid to do. The shit that scares you shitless. That's where you jump off the cliff at. Whether this is love, career transitions, your life path, you trusting what it is that you want to do, your dream. Because you are the owner, the driver. The motherfucking co, the, the motherfucking co, the, the, the co star, the main star, shit, the shining star of your reality. And anybody who does not want to see you grow, they gotta go. If your growth makes them uncomfortable, chances is it's because they, they're understanding that they're having to come to terms with their own bullshit in their lives in order to be in yours. So you gonna grow so that we can rebuild and we can continuously replenish. Are we going to stay the same and let, allow pride to prevent an opportunity that could be something really beautiful 
And for some of y'all, this has to do with collaborations. You you be just not being on the same page with someone. The spirit is saying, huh, you know what to do, and you better not. You need you need not let that left hand know what the right one doing. Okay. It says here, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So for some of y'all, this has to do with your throat chakra. Stand your ground. Speak your truths. For some of that shit that's being illuminated, speak up for yourself. I also heard backbiting. Some of y'all are going to find out some of the same damn people who be like, uh-huh, girl, that's what's up. Watch them, that's what's up. It ain't going to have to say congratulations. Spirit, what messages do you have? I heard the next one, y'all. They jumping out. Okay. 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 Hi, see, some of you guys could definitely be dealing with the sign of Virgo. Others of you could definitely be just going on an inner journey. You journey. You you're taking the time to um, kind of go in this place of solitude during this time, and you're focusing on the again the patterns. Okay. Uh, you're reflecting on cycles in your life that could be attuned, adjusted. Okay. Renewed, restructured. Because you're going through a damn rebirth, number 64. So some of you guys could actually be uh, on the verge of releasing something to actually bring something and actually bring something extremely beautiful to fruition, okay? And some of you guys, this has to do with you rising above the petty, rising above things that once emotionally kept you feeling as if you were just sitting in one spot. This is about you acknowledging the beauty inside of you rather and not needing anyone else to validate that. And this is taking that time to yourself <laughs> to take that little light and go face that motherfucking month, month up under that bed. Shine a light on what can be changed. And it brings a sense of expansion here with the number nine here, okay? And for some of you all, this has to do with a transformation and understanding that you are the alchemist. You are the magician. A lot of you all have very strong intents. You are what you believe you are. Your reality will go how you believe it will go. And if you're coming from a space of doubt, then you only selling yourself short. And you ain't even giving yourself a chance. Give yourself that same energy that you pour into fixing other people. Some of you all, some of y'all may be in a space of um, possibly releasing yourself from a group, releasing yourself from a marriage, a relationship, a long-term relationship. Others of you, this has to do with um, releasing yourself to uh, releasing yourself from a job situation to actually go and work on your inner beauty, work on your inner peace, work on your project, your entrepreneurship, your dreams. Some of you all may also um, join some type of religious group during this time of like-minded people. I'm hearing Soul Tribe, okay? Some of y'all could also be walking away from some type of religious ties. Or, um, if you grew up in the church, you may decide, you know. Um, you know, the church is within me. I don't got to go to no damn church and giving the people out my damn coins and shit. And I'm trying to rob for you to pay Paul, shit. And this motherfucker eating Frosted Flakes because I, listen, <laughs> I, no, I don't, I don't think I want to keep doing that. You know, God wouldn't want me to be hungry like that. And God wouldn't make me work all this damn time and only see the reparations that I put into somebody else's dream. Hello? So for others of you, this is about, it says destiny calls. Okay. For some of you all, this is about shining your inner light, your life path, what it is destined for you to do, infinite, okay? And for others of you, this definitely has to do with the soul connection that is protected, but things have to come to an end first. You're using your intuition and waiting for that damn expansion to come about, all right? But I hear with the 55 card, I have the soul connection, two bodies, one soul, okay? So some of you all could also, your life path could also have to do with uh, being jury maker. Some of you all could also be, um, some of y'all want to be event planners, wedding planners, okay? Some of you guys also are natural, intuitive, you're empath, you want to open some type of spiritual practice. A lot of you guys have a life path connection uh, connected to children, but you need to heal your inner child and face your fears, baby, in order to trust the process, okay? For others of you, this is coming out of, look, coming out of a space of only looking at what won't work out, but only focusing on what you can do towards the what will, okay? And others of you, this has to do with you using your intuition. Some of y'all are receiving a massive ass download during this time that has to do with the heart chakra union. Some type of enlightenment, expansion. For others of you, it's expansion on a spiritual gift. Some of you all may have the gift of premonition. Others of you may also have some type of gift of um, claircognizance. Some, type, some of y'all also may be, uh, be experiencing some type of expansion within the pineal gland, okay? 
or seeing things from a different perspective and kind of finding harmony instead of the instead of being in this space of guilt. Okay, or what if I would have did that? Woulda, coulda, shoulda. All right. So let's get let's get down to this now. Spirit, what messages do you have, for my beautiful fishy baby? My, my Pisces, the water babies. I made my jump. Y'all, this damn retrograde think it's finna come up in here and stop me from being great. Y'all know every time Mercury retrograde come, my speech be fucked up. <laughs> so get ready, get ready, get ricka, ricka ready. You know what the hell I was trying to say. Some of you guys could be leaving an earth sign in the past. I mean, leaving an earth sign um, behind us. Some of y'all could have actually just recently separated from an earth sign. Some of you guys could have had to leave, left some, like, some of you guys could have left someone in the cold or felt abandoned by someone who you love okay and i definitely feel like you or this other person is wanting to talk now and for some of y'all this have to do with the fire sign Aries, Leo, sagittarius others of you this could have to do uh with renewing the love where someone feels as if they're not good enough or there was some type of communication issue especially when it came to someone feeling as if another person chose finances over them okay some of you guys there's some type of someone's charging in real fast uh to communicate the desire to reconcile some of y'all this could definitely have to do uh, with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Some of you guys could have an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They want to reconcile, but they still communicate in very childish life. And for some of you all, you may feel as if you have a communication issue that is preventing your relationship from really kind of being at its highest potential, okay? Others of you, this is an expression of, okay, God damn it, I got the king and queen of swords. So some of you guys, you being truthful with yourself. Someone is giving some type of clarity to make someone else come out of this space of feeling as if they can't have something. Okay? But I definitely feel like here with the king and queen of cups. Okay? For some of you all, this is some type of communication or some type of revelation that's being given. I feel that someone, it's the energy of... I'm running out of time. I'm running. I heard I'm running out of time. Okay. So someone could be reaching out to you during this time. You could be reaching out to someone else. There's a fear of somebody being a bitch. Okay. And someone wants to speak up before someone else goes into a new cycle and moves away from the connection altogether emotionally. Okay. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio, Taurus again, Aquarius, Leo. All right, but I definitely feel like someone is going to accept an offer after moving away from one that they feel as if it's not going to grow, it's not going anywhere. Some of y'all could be wanting to take a leap of faith towards this high priestess. Some of y'all could be dealing with, again with a water sign. Others of you, this could have to do with an Aries, okay? Also, Pisces, someone knows that you're their soulmate, but they don't really know how to express it. This person could be um, very gifted. This could, this could be a very intuitive person. This person could also be a psychic. Some of y'all are dealing with a uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Yeah, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, okay? And I said Capricorn sh straight up. So some of y'all could be dealing with a very controlling Capricorn. I feel like someone is trying to control a union or a partnership or some type of commitment with finances, okay? And you guys are just taking a leap of faith. Fuck that. I trust myself. I ain't got to wait on your damn coin. I know how to get my own coin. I'm going to go to reunite where there's work that can be done, okay? Someone it could be also releasing control issues during this time because somebody spoke up for themselves. Listen, I'm very passionate about the situation, but I move on from this shit too because I know that I, since I deserve love and I am the damn table, mm -hmm, I'm going to go ahead and take this solid offer from this Taurus. Some of y'all could be moving away from a Capricorn. Some of y'all could be moving away from a Leo or mo moving towards a Leo. This time, this is what I'm saying. The break, the breakdown. Okay, some of you guys are wanting to renew a family situation, or someone wants to renew a family situation with you. But instead of dealing with you with the love that they have for you, they feel that this showing this love is going to be a symbolism of weakness. That's some crazy shit. But let's go for it. Uh, so showing this love is going to be some type of case of weakness. Okay, even though but the mutual want is this damn ten of cups. Okay, so I definitely feel like either this is someone there is changes coming in some type of family dynamic where someone could have been trying to control or hold on to a situation that they felt was stable but they're going to have to take a leap of faith because this situation is love for some of y'all this is having to do with the karmic soulmate and a past life soulmate one of them taught you or was the catalyst to your damn growth to prepare you for the for, for this love of a lifetime and it's about you taking this offer but there's a fear of taking this damn offer because for some y'all some of y'all you're dealing with the same sign for i.e for example you could be 
uh, leaving the Aries, then you meet a new Aries, and you're like, well, wait the fuck a minute, you immediately gotta be friend zone because, you know, that last Aries was a foot spirit is saying, don't you do that. Don't you do that because you might miss your blessing. So don't move from a space of fear is what I'm saying. If you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, I definitely feel that if you're dealing with a fire sign, this could be a reconciliation of some sort. But there's a need for someone to take a leap of faith because there is a lot of passion in the situation. The situation can be stable, but I definitely feel like there's a sense of unsurety as well in it, either from you or the other person. Because someone looks as if they're working on themselves, working on their finances, and just focused on being single, okay? Someone is enjoying their freedom. They just want to focus or build their money first before they let someone in. And I do see someone healing here. If you're dealing with, um, did I do earth? I did Earth, but I'm going to go back to Earth because I see two different things. If you're doing an Earth sign, some of y'all could actually be um, actually filing some type of paperwork or receiving some type of uh, financial financial windfall or blessing or some type of financial rectification from someone who possibly wasn't doing their part financially for their children, especially just as tied to a family situation. Others of you, someone is trying to stand in the way of your blessing or stand in the way of you moving forward by using money because maybe this is the person who's the breadwinner. However, they don't know that they damn spite is going to move you right out the door to someone who is already financially stable and like, come on, boo. Come on, good. Let's go. Hop on this <laughs> hop on this horse and ride. Okay? Somebody ready to ride, Pisces. <laughs> you, you, you understand? You keeping up? All right. You didn't know water. Okay? Yeah, somebody feels stuck expressing their love because if they don't, they're going to be financially assed out. Spirit is saying, no, you don't. Trust your, trust your intuition. Jump off the cliff. Because some of y'all got a two-for-one special with a Taurus, for damn sure. Others of you, it's a Virgo. If you're dealing with water, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, I definitely feel you're going to have some type of a tire moment with some type of a realization that someone could have been connecting with someone from their past who could be a Virgo or a Leo, okay, or Aries person. Also, if you're dealing with water signs, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, I definitely feel like you're dealing with a Cancer. It, it could be any water sign. There is someone has someone has a poverty mindset. Like they ex, they they accept and they accept and as well as perceive the worst to happen, which is preventing work from actually happening. Because somebody needs to stop making a damn assumption because they're making an ass out themselves. Y'all need to have a conversation, and I do see a conversation being had is going to be some type of rest to bring some type of restoration to a soulmate relationship. If you're dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel that their truth is that both of y'all need to tell the truth that for some of y'all you're dealing with, some of y'all really miss the air sign. And it's going to be some type of realization that you've had after possibly cutting off a damn narcissistic ass earth sign, okay? And others of you, this could be the other way around. Your earth sign got to cut off a narcissistic ass air sign to get back to you or another earth sign. Others of you, this could have to do with this air sign want to reconcile and work on things because they do realize that you're the soulmate. There is a lot of lies. I mean, lies. Okay. Love here. But there could also be a lot of lies here. Clarity that needs to be had before things can move forward. Someone, you need to ask the ask clear questions. Don't ask or give somebody that opportunity to kind of skate on their damn answers. Hell no. Or ask what directly what you want to know. Don't say, okay, well, yeah, did you go out with such and such and such? Yeah, well, when you went out with such and such and such, when they, yeah, where else did y'all go from there? Like, yeah, let's just, let's talk about the whole thing. Because someone has, someone is a master bullshitter. And the art of diversion is, uh, it is just beyond me. Okay? Someone is like, show me. Pisces, this could be your energy or another person. Show me. I heard what you said, but I also seen the damn towers fall too by giving to this shit. And to be honest with you, I'm going to a new, I'm going through a new cycle in my life. I'm moving through a new cycle in my life, and I'm understanding at this point I have to, I have to not allow shit in my world because people will do what you allow them to. So I'm gonna choose to allow to have my damn sword at the door, not to say I'm not gonna love you because I'm loving, but just to say. I can love you. I can forgive you and not fuck with you like that. I can love you and learn to not fuck, not fucking allow you to do the same thing that I, that that caused this damn tower in the first place. 
Dealing with air signs, I feel like this person has an issue with communicating their feelings. They could also be pride or fear of vulnerability uh, around it. I do see things moving forward to something stable, but then, yeah, if you're dealing with air, this person is going to have to change. Some of y'all going to have to fire shots. Listen, I will leave. Go have to show a motherfucker, listen, I will leave you. And I will leave you and I will be abundant. And in doing so, some of y'all are right into your damn ace of cups. Something where you can create. Some of you all, there's a renewal of a situation that is now blessed. Well, possibly you have a family with this person. This could be another Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Virgo, water sign. But I do see foundations being created. Things being mended. Motherfuckers getting left because they can't get right. And Pisces standing in their strength, trusting themselves and their sharp intuition and they grand they grand spanking new ass sharp ass instincts. Some of y'all literally have instincts. Some of you guys are smelling shit like that of an animal. Like you can smell like it's, your sense has been scaring you as if you're pregnant or something. Some of y'all is pregnant. You might want to go piss on that stick. Okay. Congratulations. Smoke a little of the kids. And don't don't come bring your bill for me. I'm just the messenger. Okay. <laughs> but you guys, I love you. This is what I have for love. 26 minutes. Why are these videos getting longer and longer? I tell y'all I'm doing 10 or 13 minute videos. Listen, I love y'all. Okay, peace, love, light, many blessings, y'all. If you need a personal reading, go check that damn community tab. Uh, you can find your deal over there. It's a flash sale, meaning that one day is here and the next is gone. All right, you guys, let me know how this resonates. Let me know in the comments because this is tea. I love y'all, babies. I will see you guys for the month of July. Namaste, my water babies.